Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we are focusing on budget friendly handguns. I think everybody here can appreciate a budget priced handgun and I've got eight to feature so I'm looking forward to this. The last Choose Only One video focused on home defense firearms and most people said they just use their carry gun. They carry it all day, it sits next to them when they sleep and they get up and they have that carry gun and that's what they go go with. Um, pump action shotguns, also a very popular choice. I expected that and that seemed to win over the home defense category. But today, budget friendly handguns. Let's go for it. I think you'll like what I show. When Palmetto State Armory came out with the dagger, a lot of people were excited. They said there's a Glock copy for an MSRP of $299. And it's not a bad gun at all. I had my reservations, but then I took it to the range and really enjoyed it. P mags. It comes with a 15 round P mag. We'll accept the Glock 19 mags, 3.9 inch barrel, forward serrations, nice grip texturing, has that bump right there that I don't particularly care for. Three dot sights. This is blacked out there, but a hinge trigger that measures right at six pounds right there. I wasn't sure. I took it to the range. I really enjoyed it. I said, you know, for 300 bucks, that is a pretty nice gun for a, a budget price. And, you know, the idea that it takes Glock mags is always a bonus. Now we're looking at the Sky DVG-1. This is Sky's first striker fire handgun. It came out with a flat trigger that breaks a little over five and a half pounds and 10 round mags. Now these are the same mags as the CPX models. So if you have that, you can use it with the DVG-1. Has forward serrations, three dot sights, rather large. And uh, overall, not a bad gun. Had a few issues at first, but they seem to have resolved themselves. And that's what you're looking at. A bit of a heavier trigger pull. I'm measuring right, a little over six pounds. But, you know, Sky, they, they make handguns for the, the working man. You know, budget price. You can pick these up in the mid 200s. Even the CPX models in the lower 200s, if not 200, you know, they, they price it well where average people can just purchase the gun without much financial worry. This is a SAR 9. Became very popular the last couple years. Full-size handgun with a 4.4 inch barrel. Nice grip texturing. Has interchangeable side panels and back straps. Mimics an HK and the upper mimics a Glock. Forward serrations, 17 round mags, three dot sights, has a great feel to it. It's, it's a nice gun for a fair price. People were picking this up cheap, right around five and a half pound trigger pull with a reset that is very short. I love full size handguns. And this SAR-9 is very accurate. I think a lot of people, they, they when they took notice, they were very excited about it. I know that uh, people were telling me all the time, hey, that SAR-9 is awesome. Good ergonomics, straight shooter, fair price. This is a Stoger STR-9C. With a 3.8 inch barrel, check out those forward serrations. Very deep cut. Comes with a 13 round mag and a rail, three dot sights, loaded chamber indicator bar, and a trigger that breaks right at six pounds. Stoger has not raised the price on these throughout the years. You're looking at an MSRP of $329. You can buy them in packages with additional back straps, additional magazines, night sights, and they really expanded the STR line. It originally came out with the compact size, then the C, and, and so many others, full size, one even smaller than this. But Stoger does a nice job. They keep the price down and it's a it's a nice shooting handgun breaks down easy offers a lot for the money here is a very small and lightweight diamondback db9 gen 4 with the gen 4 models they changed the grip texturing they made it plus p rated they shortened the trigger pull they didn't necessarily lighten it but they shortened it and they added a slide stop forward serration 3.1 inch barrel it's loaded weight with seven rounds it has six round mags is 16 and a half ounces. So it's a good pocket carry choice and it is extremely affordable. You can pick this up for under 300 bucks. Three dot sights, orange front dot. But that trigger breaks right around seven pounds but they shorten the reset right there. So a very lightweight, affordable, pocket carry handgun Diamondback came out with and the Gen 4, they made some very nice improvements. 
Here we have the Bursa BP9CC. It's a single stack 9mm handgun with 8 round mags. Has a rail right there, 3.3 inch barrel, ambi magazine release, a loaded chamber indicator bar, 3 dot sights, but what really sells this gun is the trigger. Now it does have a magazine disconnect, so I have to put the magazine back in there. We'll show clear, but it breaks under 4 pounds with a very short reset right there. People love the BP9CC. They, they say that that trigger is what sells the pistol. It is budget priced and it's a shoot straighter. There is no doubt about that. Here we have the very popular Taurus G3C. A lot of people love this gun. When they came out with this after the G2C, they gave three 12 round magazines. It has forward serrations, 3.2 inch barrel, Glock interchangeable sights, serrated black, front dot, and a nice trigger breaks right around four and a half pounds with a short reset. Also has restrike capability. You may notice this one has a thumb safety. They now make them without thumb safeties. That is an option. Nice grip texturing. A lot of people love this gun. They, they carry it. They do so with confidence. And they say, you know what? For the price, you just can't beat it. Here we have Canix Balls Pistol. It's a TP9 Elite Subcompact. Comes with a 12 and 15 round mag. This is a 12 round mag. This is on the higher end of the budget category. Wasn't always that way, but the prices of the Canic pistols have risen over the years, but so have the features. Here we have a rail, tungsten gray finish, forward serrations, cock striker fire indicator, loaded chamber indicator bar, optic ready, serrated black rear sights, pinned in front dot. It, it offers a, a, a lot for the money. Ambidextrous slide stop, magazine release can be moved over. So it, it, it's the type of gun that suits everybody, but I think we could all agree that the trigger... Also suits everybody. Breaks right around five and a pound. Five pounds. People love the Canic trigger, and I do too. And and for a 3.6 inch barrel gun, it shoots like a full size pistol. So that was eight budget friendly handguns. Let me know which one you feel is the best, the best quality made, the best price, whatever, or anything I missed. I know there are a lot out there, and I certainly didn't cover them all with eight handguns. But let me know. Let me know what you think, and I'll report what the results were with the next choose only one video but this budget friendly handguns be sure to choose only one if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe